the controller auto aim, dude. I totally disagree with it. I don't think it should be in the game. If you're plugging that controller in, into PC, dude, have fun. There should be no auto aim. There should be no aim assist whatsoever. Listen, if you're on Xbox, then you should obviously have aim assist. Like what? I'm talking about plugging a controller into PC. Relax, dude. I just recorded this whole thing. Thought I was recording, but I wasn't. But we're gonna record it again because this is important. So I came across a clip the other day um, from one of those Twitch clips channels saying that Ninja wanted aim assist completely gone from players that play on PC and use a controller. And I felt pretty strongly about this uh, this opinion that he had. I just want to say right off the bat, Ninja is a great guy. I I think he's a great person. I like him. No disrespect towards him. I respect him so much. His grind is unreal. And um, it's just a matter of dis uh, disagreeing with a certain thing that he said. And I kind of wanted to bring it up because I don't want it to really go any further. So, like I said, he said that console or controller players should never or should not have aim assist at all on PC when they plug in a controller. And... I have a kind of a strong opinion on this whole thing and we're going to kind of we're going to talk about his main argument right away and then we're going to kind of move backwards and kind of talk about a few other topics about why console needs aim assist and other just comparisons between the two platforms. So, to start off, he says aim assist should not actually we should talk about why he even brought it up first. So, the clip that I saw, he he was actually in the gray building right there and he killed someone and then turned and tried to shoot this one guy and he had a burst i don't know if it was a famas or a regular burst but he one bursted him and uh ninja had like 128 health i think and so he had i think one of them had to have been a headshot and he just he just died instantly because it was just three shots boom 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 and he was dead and he he had streamer mode on but he looked up his name and he had ttv in his name so he went to his stream, because he, you could tell he was thinking, like, hmm, like, I don't know how he hit all these shots. So he went to it and saw that he was on a controller on PC and immediately kind of said that aim assist should not be on PC ever, uh, whether you're using a controller or not. He said, I don't care. He also said, I don't care if... Uh, you're on console and you have aim assist and you're playing other controller players but he said if you come on PC you c you should not be able to have aim assist which I think uh, I respectfully di respectfully strongly disagree with his point because from what I've seen in my past years of gaming every game that so Fortnite made a console made a console game and then made a PC game and their goal, their ultimate goal, is to make, uh, and every other company that's made a game for both platforms, like a console and PC, their goal is to make it an even playing field. They want to make it so both players can compete. At least that should be the goal. And so getting a little bit deeper into the idea of aim assist, uh, I'm going to, hold on, I'm going to put my webcam on. So... When you're using a controller, I'll use this for an example. I'm not going to use my one. I got a control freak on the controller that I regularly use. But, so, look at the, looking at this controller. Hold on. Come on, focus. Focus on this. Focus on this. There we go. Okay. So, you look at the joystick, and you can see that when I move it like this, it goes down. It's... It, it doesn't just go side, like, side to side. It goes down and in. And so it's we're not on a level plane when we're aiming. It's it's kind of what makes the gameplays um, that you see from console a lot choppier than PC. Because when you're on PC, you have a, a flat plane with a mouse, and you can just move your arm along this plane at uh, whatever speed you'd like, and it's just a lot a whole lot smoother. And you can make these slight movements super easy. And what makes it so difficult with a controller with these slight movements is because um, once you get further down into aiming, or down into, what am I saying, down into moving this way, or moving that way, 
you can increase your speed and just hit that wall so easily because if you put like any force it just gets easier to to move because the further you move your joystick the easier it actually gets to just hit that wall and also take a look at how long it takes to to actually hit the barrier it's that's <clears throat> this is our sensitivity this is how much control we have literally just boom boom this is like the most important argument you move that the slightest bit barely any pressure and you're going maximum sensitivity speed you it is so hard to control a joystick at just a smooth like not using your full potential of sensitivity and this is the biggest disadvantage that always will be the biggest disadvantage I would say for console and this is why we have aim assist so when we're in a fight with with uh, someone like close quarters and pump pump versus smg because that's that's the meta if both people have pumps both people have smgs if we are jumping around and we and we have to track someone while jumping around with this with this smg you know how hard it is to keep that slight movement and keep it accurate on the person and that's why a lot of, a lot of times you'll see someone on console Kind of, you can you can jump around and but after that, um, a lot of the time they will crouch or just kind of move around and you know sometimes burst it to help with the aim assist and just focus more on aiming rather than actually jumping around because when you add both elements into it, it gets to be so hard to track the person with a joystick. The joystick is so hard for aiming. And you might say, just lower your sensitivity. You, it'll be a lot easier, especially if you don't, if they did take away aim assist. But if you lower your sensitivity too much, this game is so important that you be able to move or turn fast that all the top console players have a relative, not like a, they don't all have really high sensitivities, but Competitive console players are definitely more inclined to choose a higher sensitivity because if they're getting shot from behind, we have a we have a sensitivity cap. We we can't just move a mouse. We don't have a mouse to just move at an insane rate to turn around and build immediately. But on console, so on console, we do have building sensitivity that helps a lot. And what I meant to say here was. That if you have your building sensitivity too high, you're going to lose a lot of your control. And it can be to your detriment, for sure. So if you're roaming around with a lower sensitivity, you're going to... It's it's the difference of, like, anywhere between two and four shots of the enemy getting on you. Compared to maybe one or two shots from someone on PC. Because if you're on PC, you can just whip around real quick and they will only get one or two shots off. But if you're on console and you don't have uh, a, that high of a sensitivity or your, your sensitivity is you, sensitivity still can be pretty high but you're still gonna have that sensitivity cap that you're pushing against and trying to go faster but you just can't you, you're just stuck on that low sensitivity and you're just letting you're just letting people get shots off on you so when we're talking close quarter fights we do like aim assist is not OP for us it's really just a matter of we're at such a disadvantage with the joystick. You really got to think about it not as you, you can't think about only the idea of aim assist. You got to kind of take into consideration other things that we have to deal with first and then think about aim assist because the aim assist is really just counterbalancing our inability to to move smoothly and consistently uh while aiming and trying to trying to shoot someone and the main reason i wanted to bring this up is i don't know if i don't think i mentioned it before if they did decide to take aim assist out of people using a controller on console this would make it so you'd almost have to play mouse and keyboard to be a pro and compete in these tournaments because this is it, you have to because they they force you to play on PC first of all at these at the like the skirmishes and everything and 
these big events. There's so much money going into these tournaments. Close range fights are so important in these tournaments specifically. And if console players do not have the, the little bit of help of aim assist, um, it would it would make the the biggest difference. I I think. And like I said, more most specifically with these close range fights, because at long range aim assist doesn't really work. We still gotta. We gotta do all the all the tracking ourselves. But like I said, these close range fights. If if you're jumping around and having to follow their strafe patterns wherever they're jumping, because they might jump this way, then jump this way, and you're gonna have to be jumping, kind of trying to track them down, especially with an SMG, and trying to spray them down and hit as many bullets as you can. That is so hard to do. And being able to, if you need to, kind of crouch or just stand still or move around a little bit but use the aim assist to your advantage by all means we should be able to do it and that's kind of where I stand with this aim assist is just something that shouldn't go away and um, it, it's just kind of helps counterbalance some of the other disadvantages that we're at and yeah